Hello dear students today we are talking about the theory subjects like law audit taxation eis sm economics etc in these subjects there are too many concepts and it is very difficult to remember all of these concepts so today we are talking about a very special technique that you can use i have personally used my students have used to remember everything very easily and nicely without too much hassle without wasting too much time with fun with entertainment engagement so what is that technique let's talk about that the technique that i am talking about is visualization visualization means imagination what you have to do is when you open a subject don't directly just start reading the first point the first paragraph rather read the name of that chapter then take an overview of that chapter that means see how many topics are in it read the headings of every single topic throughout the chapter just read it even if you don't know a word even if you don't understand any concepts just read every single topic's name once you take a snapshot of every single topic in that chapter in your mind you will have some sort of an image you will have some sort of understanding about what this chapter might be so for example in companies act we have got chapter 9 accounts of the company now you have read every single section's name first of all in that chapter okay it says books of accounts it says financial statement it says csr etc now you have read all of these topics name now think about what this chapter contains okay so the name is accounts of the company definitely it must be talking about the accounts that the company have to prepare okay then it's talking about books of accounts then it's talking about financial statement it's talking about filing these financial statement with the registrar so possibly this chapter is talking about how the company will have to maintain its books of accounts financial statements how or when they have to file it with the registrar of companies etc so now when you ask yourself what is this chapter about and you come up with your own unique answer now you become curious about what this topic might be then start reading topic by topic everything that is in that chapter often times students will directly jump into the first paragraph the first topic they will read it they will be overwhelmed oh my god this is too much and they will try to memorize everything don't do that it's a waste of time okay first like i said take a snapshot uh, of the whole chapter okay think about what this chapter might be ask yourself like orally ask yourself what this chapter contains what is this going to be about and then once that curiosity is developed once you're curious once you want to know you know what this chapter contains then start reading every single topic so that's the first part of the technique now let's talk about the second part of the technique which is visualization okay so let's say i am a very good cook okay and i cook this amazing uh sindhi koki and i give you the recipe of that i tell you that you have to take flour then you have to chop green chilies uh, some oil some ghee some masala and put it all in that flour then you have to put all, water in it and that you uh, create a dough and then once that dough is created then make the roti the roti has to be thick you have to put cuts on it then you have to cook that roti okay and when you cook that roti cook it on very slow flame and then you have to put ghee on it oh my god my mouth is watering sad okay come on but now that i've given you the whole recipe let's say every step that i was saying you have visualized it because when i was giving you those steps i was visualizing it and i hope you were also visualizing all of that now if i ask you to repeat it i think you will be very easily able to repeat it why because you have visualized every single step so in your mind there is a movie that has played and based on that movie you can recreate that movie and you can tell me what just happened so if you use the same technique in understanding and remembering theory subjects also it will be so effective we have a visual memory if you have seen something very carefully observingly then we will be able to recall it much better compared to simply listening to words and trying to recollect those words exactly so now let's take this concept and put it in law okay so let's say you are reading law okay now in law uh, let's say you are reading the section relating to incorporation of the company it says that the company has to be incorporated there are certain documents that have to be filed with the registrar of companies this document has to be prepared then this document has to be prepared then this has to be prepared then they all have to be combined together filed with the registrar fees has to be paid then the registrar is going to give the certificate of incorporation etc we have read this whole section Okay now when you're reading this section there are two ways of reading it one you can just read the bare text and try to recall it okay rather what you can do is when you're reading it create that image in your mind 
that there is an actual company there is this one person who is preparing all of these documents what are these documents imagine those documents even if you don't know the format just imagine them one is a memorandum of association then we have the article of association etc create all of those documents then they are combined together the person has stapled it then the put, person has put it in the form then he's going to the registrar or filing it with the registrar uh, putting it in the envelope giving it to the registrar paying the fees registrar is giving the certificate and then accordingly he brings back the certificate Once you visualize or created that image in your head, you will remember it. For the most part, you will remember it. So that's what I want you to do. When next time you're sitting down with theory subjects, law, audit, ESSM, economics, whatever, don't just read and memorize it. Okay, first ask yourself, what is this about? Think of an answer. Second, when you're reading it, imagine the concepts. Once you imagine the concepts, you might still forget about parts and pieces of it, but at least 70-80% you will be able to recall it in your own words and again you will need a second reading for it you will need revision definitely it goes without saying revision is always mandatory but with revision your concepts will be so much stronger even after one year period if let's say someone talks about these same concepts you will have that image in your mind and based on that image you will be come up able to come up with the right answers so i hope you use this technique because only when you use this technique you are going to understand the benefits of this technique okay and i hope this video helps you and i'm going to see you very very soon again in another video if you have any request on the kind of videos i should be making please write them down in the comment section below and i'll see you again all the very best bye bye